Hello, this is Edward Zingoni with the Zingoni and Hofer Machine Learning Project 2. So, first of all, to split the data into 10 folds, that is handled largely in part to this code right here. You can see the number of folds, it's 10 up here, and the folds is in this variable. We've gotten 10 array lists, each of them holding data in all of the folds. All right, now we have the distance function which is this whole class up here. Most of the work that's called is in this function right here, the calculate distance. And you can see it will calculate the distance here between point A and point B, and will give us this distance sum, in this case about two, or I can run it again, or again, and you can see it will give us different distances between these two points here. Now it's on to the kernel function, which is in the regression predictor and is largely defined in this k function right here. You can see there's the distance between the point and the query point, and this variable steps here is the value of the kernel. This point is 0.92. Run through it a few more times. You can see 0.91, and yeah, it's pretty large in these cases. All right, and now to see a classification and what the KNN actually classifies it as, it classifies it into a given index into this variable best class here. And you can see over at the debugger, in this instance, this has classified it as to be class two. This one's also class two, class two, class two, and look, class four. I run this in many times and you can see the different classes that these different data points are classified as. Now for the classification of a regression that just like the classification takes in an index, returns the best class, and over here on the debugger, in this instance, the, the regression was 34. So if I run it again, it's about 5. And yeah, you can run it through it and see the different values that the regressor, that the regressor is giving. All right, this is where edit decay nearest neighbor removes noisy data points. As you can see, current or guess is the classification of the data point current. And as you can see, if guess is not equal to the class that it's supposed to be, it is the data set is the data point is removed from the reduced data set as well as the index list. And down here at the end of the function, the indexes that were not removed are returned to give us the reduced data set we need for edited KNN. And in this function, the K means cluster.java is where all the clustering is taken care of, and it's a it's a pretty long file, but the value, we, the function we actually care about is this get best cluster. And you can see that the value it returns is going to be a big array list of all the data that is going to be in the best cluster for a get for a given data point. So it takes in point row index as its data point. And as you can see here in the debugger, we've got a very big array list of all the, these integers are indexes in the, data point file that shows which of the data points are in its are in the its best cluster. It's a little bit hard to see in the debugger, but that's what this is. It's, it's a, an array list of all the data points in its in its best cluster. As that there are different ones for each for each of the data points and that's that's what this function does. This right here is the average performance of regular KNN for a classification data sets. This right here is the average performance for the same classification for the same classification data set only this time using edited KNN. And this right here is the average performance of the same classification data set only this time using the clustering method on the KNN. All right, and moving on to regression. This right here is the average performance of the forest fires regression set using ordinary KNN. You can see average performance right around 96%, which is pretty good. All right, and this right here is the average performance of that same fire data set, only this time using edited KNN. It's again around 96%, so pretty close to the ordinary KNN. Regression perf average performance for the KNN clustering. Again, slightly around about 96% accuracy on average, a little bit different after the, the decimal points.